Hey guys, how are you doing? Today we are doing a pre-Thanksgiving early thing so that way we can share our sides with you. So this video is in collaboration with Valley ha Valerie Haggart. So make sure you go check out her channel. Also, if you haven't subscribed to her, please consider subscribing. And there's gonna be a massive playlist down below. Check out all the different sides that you guys can make for Thanksgiving dinner. So let's get started, okay? So when you have Thanksgiving dinner, everybody talks about bringing out their fine china, right? The pretty stuff. <laughs> yeah, this is mine. No, actually, it's not. I'm gonna use real dishes. But seriously, this is a lifesaver here, okay? All right, so first thing first is I'm gonna get my green beans going. Oh, no, actually, I'm not. I've got to get my turkey going. Otherwise, it won't be done. My turkey is going to uh, be a chicken. <laughs> What the heck? That doesn't make sense. Because the weather decided to get hot, we're gonna put our chicken in the Instapot. I've got a little thing to go in here. Let me grab that. So I'm gonna sit this inside my Instapot. Got the cord all in my pineapple. Oh, what a day. You know, one day I'm gonna be organized, but today's not that day. So we're gonna begin off with our green beans. I'm using canned green beans, you can use fresh green beans, you can use whatever kind of green beans you want to, but we're gonna level it up, okay? So I'm gonna rinse these and I'm gonna drain them. And then I'm gonna, uh, first I'm gonna drain them and rinse them extremely well. And then I'm gonna put them in this pot. You'll see what I'll add to it. Grandma. Yeah, baby. I thought the green beans were still in the can and you still threw it away. No. All right, so I'm just gonna dump my green beans in here. And then I have some onions that I have pre-cut up that I'm gonna add into this. Bless you. Rayleigh is also helping me today. So I'm just gonna get this bag open, maybe. Who knows, maybe I won't. I can help you. You can? You think you can get it open? Mm -hmm. There we go. All right, so I'm just going to add, these are the Aldea onions I just chopped up, so I'm just going to add a little in here, and then I'm going to add some water to cover this. Yeah, they're frozen. And then I'm going to add some chicken uh, bouillon to, to it. All right, we're going to add about a tablespoon of this in there. This stuff is out, absolutely outstanding, and we're going to cook them on the stove. Now to our next recipe. I'm gonna drain my French style green beans because we're gonna make a chicken. Oh no, this is supposed to be cream of mushroom. We're gonna make a green bean casserole. Well, with one cream of chicken and one cream of mushroom, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna taste great. Yeah, it will taste great. Will it, baby? You always do cooking with April good. Do I? Yes. Thank you, honey. You're so sweet. Subscribe to you when you rolled down that heel. You did? I like to mix my cream of mushroom soup along with my milk and my French's onions mm -hmm. <laughs> in a bowl before I add it into the green beans. You'll see. And then we're gonna bake this in the oven for about 30 minutes, just until it's nice and bubbly. Nice and bubbly. That really didn't do anything, so don't ask me why I did that. But I'm out of milk. Naturally, we need some salt and pepper. You know me, I love my pepper. Ooh, I can smell. You can smell the pepper? It smells good, doesn't it? Then I'm just going to whisk this up. My green beans are still. The water. <laughs> Does it? My green beans are still getting rinsed. I've never made green bean casserole with cream of chicken soup and cream of mushroom soup, but hey, there's a first time for everything. Maybe this is a new way. We'll see what it tastes like. I have lots of taste testers here, so you can get their honest opinion of it. That looks like ice cream. This? Yes. Does it? Let's see when it's cooked, it will not look like ice cream. Okay, I'm just gonna add the green beans in here. I'm gonna stir these together. I know you think in double duty of green beans plus green bean casserole, but some people don't like green bean casserole. Um, I like green bean casserole. 
Um, but there's a few of my kids that don't like green bean casserole, so we gotta make everybody happy. So to this mixture, we're gonna add in. I want some of those. I love You like these? Mm -hmm. We're gonna add, add in maybe about a half a bag. Let's see how it goes. Let's just add the whole bag. I like some of those. There is some more in there. We're gonna stir this together. So to our bacon dish, I'm gonna spray it. Spray, spray, spray. Will it spray? I'm not gonna spray it. It won't work, will it? No. Why do you have to put I don't know. I don't know why it won't work. Did you get it to work? And then we're gonna dump our green beans in there. Try not to. We're just gonna level it out. And I'm gonna put some tin foil over it and bake it in the oven until it's nice and bubbly. And then we'll put the French uh, of French's onions on top and let it finish cooking. All right, so we're just gonna cover it, put it in the oven 350 degrees until it's done about 30, 45 minutes. All right, for this one, we're gonna make sweet potato sides, yams, whatever you want to call it. I'm, I know some of you are probably like, no, 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 why aren't you using fresh? Listen, Sandra Lee said, keep it simple, keep it sweet, and always keep it semi-homemade. We're just going to take and turn this into our own little thing, okay? So I'm going to drain the juice from these. Grandma, you took the chicken I'm going to put, you hit, the what? You took that in out in yeah. the sink? Yeah, look at there. Wow. <laughs> So we strained it, and then we're gonna take, and we're gonna mash it. We're gonna pure, like puree it. Oh, I did it wrong. Woo! Did y'all see that? What? I accidentally turned it on. Oh, look what I did to my thing. Oh. Whoops, let me get some butter. Oh, I wanna work with you. I better get my ingredients. I've got about a half a stick of butter. I'm just gonna pop in there. It's not really salt. All right, so to this, I'm not gonna add any salt or pepper. I am gonna add a little bit of brown sugar. To my yams, I'm gonna add in some brown sugar. I think this, this casserole dish is a little big. Maybe, I don't know, half of a third, two tablespoons. And then we're just gonna mix it up. Okay, so we're gonna take we're gonna take our mixture and we're gonna add it into this pan here. Probably yeah. should have really used a smaller dish. Oh, you know what? I should have put some cinnamon in here. Oh yeah. Or pumpkin pie spice. Which one would you rather have, cinnamon or pumpkin pie spice? What does cinnamon taste like? It's like French toast. You put cinnamon in French toast. I think you should do both. Do cinnamon and pumpkin pie spice? Are you sure? Actually, pumpkin spice. Okay. She's taking too long. I'm gonna add a little pumpkin pie spice to this. Then I'm just gonna stir That's it up. That's not a little. That's a bunch. <laughs> it was a little bit. This dish is like entirely too big, but it's gonna be fine. I'd rather it be too big than too small because I have a tendency to run things over. All right, so I'm gonna bake this in the oven. I'm gonna cover it with some tin foil as well. Let it become nice and bubbly. And then I'm gonna top it with some walnuts and some miniature marshmallows. So when you think of Thanksgiving, a lot of people think of dressing, being the star of the show, because nine times out of 10, that's what it is. So today I'm gonna to show you an easy way of how to make the dressing and not stress over it and everybody's gonna enjoy it. Who doesn't love stovetop, right? So today we're gonna to make our dressing making stovetop and we're gonna put it in this casserole dish and bake it in the oven. First, I'm gonna put it in the bowl and I'm gonna use um, water because there's a lot of sodium in this. So I'm gonna just use plain water and a whole stick of butter. So to our bowl, we're gonna add in each bag of stuffing mixture. And it should be two cups of water, excuse me, three cups of water and a quarter cup of butter, which is a half a stick. You can make this a little extra wet just because it will kind of dry out in the stove or in the oven when it's baking. I can also try it. 
I am now adding in my full stick of butter. My water is fixing to come to a bowl that we will measure and add in here. Three cups of water in here. You know what this is? You can add bacon grease if you this want This is I'm not pineapple. Into these. She's going to use it. Extra good flavor. For real. Hey. And I'm using red potatoes for mashed potatoes. So my water has gotten pretty hot. I'm gonna add in three cups, maybe just a little bit over. So that's, this is one and a half measuring cups. So I'm gonna put in two. And then we're just gonna stir away. Just let that butter get in there and melt. So see how the texture is? It's pretty moist. Let me see if I chop up that butter a little bit. If I was smart, I would have laid out my butter last night, but I didn't. So it's still pretty firm. All right, so into our bacon dish, I'm just going to dump in our dressing, stuffing, whatever you want to call it. Oh, you can use whatever flavor you want. I don't know if I stated that, but... Um, Grandma, is it showing me on the camera? No. You can use whatever flavor you want. You can use turkey. I chose savory herb just because I'm using a chicken, place of a turkey. But yeah, change it, change it up and you do you. You do whatever flavor you prefer. Prefer? I am not going to put temple into this because I want it to dry out. Dressing is supposed to be a little, that's why I said if you put a little extra, uh, you can use chicken broth, you can use water. You can, yeah, you can use whatever flavoring you want, but just, let it dry out in the oven when it cooks and then it'll cut nice squares. Ching. Can you say hello to everybody in just a minute? Hello. So now we're gonna make a, I wanna say it's like a side. I use, I utilize it as a side. You can util, uh, utilize it as a dessert. You can do whatever you want to with it, but I love it as having a side. I love my cranberry sauce. So we're gonna take whole jelly cranberry sauce and dump it in here. I cheated. I punched holes in the bottom of the can. <laughs> and then, you want to break that up for me? I'll give you a spoon. Yes. All right. Did you say hello to everybody? Say hello, everyone. Hello, everybody. All right. Go ahead and break this up. Rayleigh's going to help me make this. All right. So, now that this is all broke up, that's good. We're going to stir in our pineapple. You don't have to drain it. Stir it in. This is a can of crushed pineapple. Then we're gonna add in some sweetened coconut flakes. I actually tried one and they're so good. The one of the coconut flakes? Mm -hmm. You like them? Yeah. I've never tried coconut before. Really? No. Oh, and we're gonna add in about a half a bag of marshmallows. The last time my mama bought one, um, she didn't shake it up as good. And bought one what? She Coconut. Uh-huh. And she didn't shake it up because she didn't know. And I shook it up when we got home and I was like, I don't hear nothing. And it was burnt when she opened it. Really? There was no coconut milk in it? Wow. You want to dump some of these? About half the bag. Okay, that's plenty. All right. Stir those up in there. Oh, this looks good. This is what it looks like now, and I hope my Cool Whip is thawed. Rayleigh has been, you know, testing it, making sure it's not poisonous for everyone, right? So we're just gonna plop in, yes, yeah, good. All this Cool Whip. Should I leave you a little bit to lick out of the bowl? <laughs> if you don't have grandkids, just wait, because they are the best. All right, baby girl, you wanna stir it? Should I save this for you? You want to wash your hands? I got it all over my cheek. Let me see. No, it's off. Did you lick it off? Uh-huh. You got it? Oh, it's hard. Is it? Stir, stir, stir. Let me, I'm going to grab a bowl to put this in when you're done with it, okay? <laughs> Uh-huh. Can I can 
I give a little whip right now? Get all that good stuff down in that bottom. You just rub it all the on the fan. Did I? Yes. All right. Does this not look delicious or what? You want to taste it? Is it good? Tell everybody out there to give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up. Do it, do a thumbs up. There we go. All right, we're gonna put it in here, okay? Huh? I taste it. Is it good? Your mama really likes this. All right, so we're gonna put it in the bowl, okay? You wanna scrape it in the bowl? Mm -hmm. Make sure it get all of it. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. We'll clean it up. That good? Let me see. Kind of. Like swoosh it around the sides. That way we get all of it. I tried to do that. Should I leave this for you to lick? Yeah. Okay. All right. And there you go. That's a cranberry salad. Now I'm going to wrap this with saran wrap and put it in the refrigerator and let it chill while we're still cooking everything. Is it good? I, I cut it all over my dinner. All right. In the refrigerator it goes. You can't have mashed potatoes without Thanksgiving. You can't have Thanksgiving without mashed potatoes. So let's make these mashed potatoes. I just diced up some red potatoes. I'm not gonna do anything fancy to them. Um, I just salt and pepper them, and now I'm gonna add in a whole stick of butter. I did leave a little bit of the water in here that I drained off. You can add heavy cream. Ina Barton said that it's best if you warm it before you put it in there with the potatoes. I, I don't know that I've ever done that to make enough difference or not. But yeah, so I'm gonna put these mashed potatoes it's up. It's not showing your head. Right, now we're just going to scrape our potatoes into our bowl. Because I love washing dishes. <laughs> got it. You love washing dishes? All right, our potatoes are done. Our green beans are done, so I'm putting our green beans in here. When I tell you almost cook the juice out of them, I literally cook the juice out of them. It gives it, if you have to try this way, you can try it before, you can even do it before Thanksgiving. And uh, trust me, it gives it such better flavor. Okay, so our green bean casserole has been in there. It's bubbly. Let me turn this water off. And then we're just going to sprinkle some more of these over the top. And then we're going to put it back in the oven until these get nice and golden brown. Mm. I tried one. Back in the oven until the French the uh, French's fried onions are golden brown. They're already kind of golden brown, but a little bit more golden brown. Now we got our sweet potatoes. Oh, doesn't that look delicious? Now we're going to top it with the marshmallows. Marshmallows. And then we're going to add a few walnuts to the top. Or you can use pecans, whichever you prefer. Hey, Grandma. Yeah, baby. I need some walnuts. You want some walnuts? Mine's going to be the best one ever. <laughs> With orange juice? Okay. Yes. There you go. Back in the oven until the marshmallows are nice and bubbly. All right, you can't have Thanksgiving dinner without some brown and star rolls or sister sherbet rolls. Whichever rolls you prefer, use them. We're going to toast these nice and toasty in the oven. And dinner is almost ready, guys. Let's see, I could probably spread these out a little bit more. Don't need to have them do three in a row instead of four. In the oven until they're warm. Uh huh. Look at this dinner served by Cooking with April and more. No more. Is no this more? Just Cooking with April. Oh. Uh, and Cooking with Rayleigh. So bad. Uh -huh. And Cooking with Rayleigh. And Cooking with Rayleigh? Yes, I mean. What'd you make? This. 
It tastes very good. What is it? Is dinner done? Ice. Well, is it milk? No. I put marshmallows. I don't know what those are called. Yet. Pecans. I put my chicken never cooked. marshmallows, pecans, and orange. <laughs> Did it really? No. -uh. Yeah, never cooked. Open it. Started. Jacob, she needs help with the pressure cooker. The chicken never cooks. Everything else is done. Looks like we're having stuffing, <laughs> green bean casserole, mashed potatoes, green beans, and gravy. <laughs> and her chicken. <laughs> okay, they didn't know that these phones were still recording by George. But I'm going to leave every bit of that in there. Because things like this always happen with me. The chicken's not done. <laughs> Welcome to my family, guys. I mean, all right. Well, rotisserie chicken it is because this chicken ain't done. So, hey. <laughs> how long will it take to cook? Like an hour. Oh yeah, we can't wait that long. Exactly. Back to food line. <laughs> Johnny, I can go without the chicken. It's already done. I just want some mashed potatoes and gravy. And Rayleigh's eating all the French's onions. Oh gosh. Okay, let me let me do the outro. Okay, just hold. What's that? Yams. Mm. Um, yeah, we good. We don't need that chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we got rolls too, heck yeah. Quit, really. Rolls to add to that baby roll. What would those marshmallows them uh Whoops. they smell good? What? Well guys, I hope this puts some yummy in your tummy <laughs> and a smile on your heart, because it sure is going to do mine. <laughs> what about you, Rayleigh? She's yeah. can you show them your concoction that you made on the camera? You don't want to? Okay, Chelsea. You know? No, I'm good. I just want to show you. Uh, okay, guys. There you have it. <coughs> don't forget to check out Valerie's channel. And <laughs> I, I truly hope this video did it for you. These yams smell so so good. Mm -hmm. I know. So guys, listen, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to kill you. You can make it simple, make it sweet, and always make it semi-homemade for Sandra Lee. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. And you don't eat chicken. Bye. Yeah, no chicken because it's not done. <laughs>